All right, guys, quick video here on how to do some more unit conversions. So this is find the volume to the nearest gallon. I look at my units and my units are in feet. And if I look at my reference sheet, there's no real conversion from feet to gallons. So I'm not going to let that freak me out right now. What I'm going to just do is find the volume first. So this is a rectangular prism. Let's say maybe it's a fish tank and it's got water in it. So my first job is to look at, it's a prism. And they'll typically tell you, you have a rectangular prism. So I'm telling you there's a rectangular prism. So my volume equals area of the base times the height of the prism. Well, my base is a rectangle. So it's area of the rectangle times, when I'm referring to a prism and the height of a prism, I'm really referring to the depth of the prism, how deep back my rectangular pieces really go. So area of a rectangle, again, is the same thing as area of a parallelogram. You can either call it base times height or you can call it length times width. I don't care which one you use, but you have to understand that area is two dimensions. So I have to have a length and a width, and then I have to have my height or my depth of the prism. Now, this rectangular prism has a bunch of faces on it, so it doesn't essentially matter what one you look at. I'm going to focus on this bottom guy because this to me is like the base, the bottom. All right, so I'm gonna, this, this is what I need to find the area for. And I know that some of you are kind of pulling area to the side and finding that. That's absolutely fine. So this is going to look like 4 times 3 times 5 when I'm doing this, okay? So 4 times 3 times 5. Plugging that in my calculator, my volume is equal to 60 cubic feet, or 60 feet cubed. Now the problem is that I have to convert this to gallons. Well, I think you kind of need to think a little simpler with, with your unit conversions and what you do know. You do know that there's 12 inches per one foot. We do know that there's one inch per 2.54 centimeters. We do know that we have a liter and a cubic centimeter conversion, and we also have a liter to gallon conversion. So we actually have two of them. All right, so I'm going to think simply. I want to get feet to inches because I can get inches to centimeters. So I want to go feet to inches. All right, now the, the problem that you need to be aware of is that this is in cubic feet. So I'm actually going cubic feet to cubic inches. So when I set up my work, I'm doing 60 feet cubed. I'm going to multiply that inches cubed feet cubed. Well, one cubic feet is equal to 12 cubed of inches cubed. Now, one cubed really doesn't give me anything other than one, so that's not really that important. But in my calculator, I'm going to multiply 6 times 12 to the third. So cubic feet, cubic feet, what I'm going to be left with is, looks like 103,680 cubic inches. Now, for those of you that want to do the proportions, you can do 60 feet cubed over x inches cubed. You can again do 1 cubic foot, but again it's 12 cubed inches cubed. Okay, so it's 1 cubed, 12 cubed. I have to cube them if I'm going from one dimension to three dimensions. Again, you can use n solve here if you want, or you can cross multiply. It still is 60 times 12 cubed. Okay? So I'm in inches cubed now. So I'm going to take my inches cubed. I do not ever lose my units. They're still attached to there, they don't disappear. And I'm going to go to centimeters cubed. So centimeters cubed, inches cubed. Now again, in one dimension, one inch is 2.54 centimeters. So when I'm in three dimensions, it's 2.54 cubed cubic centimeters. And again, this is one cubed, which is one. So now my calculator, I'm not deleting anything. Okay, I'm not deleting anything here. I'm showing you all my calculations in case some of you don't know where they're coming from. So what I have here 
is I'm going to take my answer and I'm going to multiply by 2.54 raised, oops, not raised twice, raised to the third power. Okay? Which again gives me this guy here. So this is equal to, again, inches divided by inches cubed reduce. And I'm left with 169901.79552 centimeters cubed. Okay? Now I'm going to continue to convert centimeters cubed, cubic centimeters, to liters. Okay? I'm just going to go right here. One liter is 1,000 cubic centimeters. Cubic centimeters divided by cubic centimeters reduces. I'm going to divide my answer in my calculator by 1,000. That leaves me with 1,699 about liters. I want to go from liters to gallons. It does not matter which one of these you use. They're going to produce the same answer. The numbers might be off a little bit, especially because I've rounded here along the way. But I'm going to go liters to gallons. Now there's either 3.75 liters per gallon or one liter is 0.264 gallons. So one liter, 0.264 gallons. Again, either one that you want to use is okay. So this is in the numerator. Liters divided by liters reduces to one. I'm taking my answer of 1699. I'm going to multiply by 0.264. So 440, I'm going to round up 449 gallons, and I'm rounding that up because it was 448.5, so to the nearest gallon, I'm making that 449 gallons, okay? Again, for those of you that want to use the proportions, you can. This would be 1,699 gallons, sorry, liters is X amount of gallons and one liter is 0.264 gallons. So any of you that do want to use the proportions, I am absolutely okay with that. What I'm not okay with is that if you don't have all of these units all over your paper, I think that you're probably going to get lost in the math when we start bringing in density. Okay, So hopefully that helps some of you with your unit conversions. You have to use the sheet. You have to try something here. Try something that you know. I'm pretty sure that we know that there's 12 inches per one foot. So I'm going to go to cubic from cubic feet to cubic inches. Okay? Hope that helps you guys.